Welcome back to One Shot. Nico has just woken up from his nap and it seems he wants to talk to me. Marshall? Yes? I'm awake now. Yeah, I actually had an interesting conversation with him before. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record it. When I first started up this game, I was actually looking at Nico's dream. He was having a dream and I was actually looking into it. And when he woke up, we actually had a conversation about the dream that he just had. I really wish I could have recorded it, but I tried and there's no way for me to actually go back. Because if I just close the game without saving, then Nico dies. And if I save again by sleeping, then you get the dialogue box that I just had right there. So unfortunately that's lost, but yeah, this game is going pretty far with its... Nico's inside of a game being controlled by a god, being controlled by me. It goes pretty far with that concept, even to the point where once you load up the game again, you can kind of look at what Nico was doing while you were gone, while he was sleeping. Very interesting. Okay, so unfortunately I made the mistake of waiting about a week between recording the last episode and recording this one. Which means I don't remember what the heck was going on or where anything is. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of time here to re-familiarize myself with the environment and what kind of items I have. And once I've done that, I'll be right back. Hmm. Just tried talking to this person in the boat and... Well, the person didn't respond, but Nico seems to want to talk to me again. Let's see what this is about. Uh, yes, I'm here. Oh, good. Can you see this robot? It's attached to the boat. It doesn't seem to have power. There's a large hole in its chest, like it's missing a piece. Its joints are rusted over as well. I think, I still think we'll be able to fix it. The boat's pointed towards the spire. What do you think? Ah, okay, so that's probably what I need to do. So I need to get it power, and I need to free up the rust. Now I remember there was something about, like, making acid. I, I know I needed to wear the rubber gloves to make it, and I've got an empty bottle and a syringe. And there was a big battery as well, but it was extremely heavy. Okay, so I have some idea what I'm supposed to do, but I still need to re-familiarize myself with the environment, so once again, I'll be right back. So, to make that acid, one of the ingredients that I need is some sort of a viscous liquid, which this appears to be it. This pond is a lot different than the other ones. The water is all gooey. Now, I think I tried to put this into a bottle before, right? But I needed a funnel or something like that. Yeah, there's no way the goop would fit in this bottle without some sort of funnel. Did I try the sponge? It doesn't actually say anything, so I guess that means it doesn't work. Did I try the syringe? Let me fill this up. Uh, let me fill this. Let me fill up this needle with some of this goop. Gross. That is pretty gross. Okay, so let's grab the needle. Viscous syringe. Um. Should I put it into the bottle right now? I think the order that you do it in might be important. I think I need to mix it properly, so actually, actually, let's not put it in just yet. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good idea what I need to do now, so... Uh, I think I'll stop cutting for now and just start to explore. So... I need to pry open that box. Because I think it has the battery inside of it or something like that, or perhaps it has the masks that I need to go into the... Sulfuric or whatever place, the place that has the fumes. Now, I do have this metal rod, a long, slender metal bar, but it's not quite flat enough. And apparently I need to flatten it to actually be able to pry open that box. So I need some way to flatten it.
This is, um, a solar panel, right? Yeah. The light bulb's powering these machines. Okay, so maybe this is for char- this is probably for charging the solar battery once I have it. Yeah, so it's completely useless at the moment. I've already read this. Yep. So really to progress, I think what I really need is just to flatten the bar, and also to find the mask. Now, I went left before. Let's try going a different way. Okay, I never went here. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the vents. They always look less rusty and shinier than even the newest models. Is that the result of the acid gas? Or am I just seeing things? No, it's because of the gas. Destructive and unsustainable, my foot. Folks from the inner city complain about anything if they're bored to death in their nice, comfy homes. Don't they know their city wouldn't be the way it is if it weren't for this quarry? People seem to forget that the Barrens is a gift, and gifts aren't meant to just sit there and collect dust. The gifts need to be opened. Opened with a flattened metal bar. Okay, trying to make sure I don't miss one way to go. Ooh, is this a flattening machine? Hmm? A metal safe. Looks like it's locked with a six-digit code. Don't think I've seen any codes anywhere. Not since the remote, anyway. Indeed. Whoa. I see you've made progress, Marshal. But that stops here if you don't stop to consider this. This world is falling apart. It's possible the information you seek is now in an entirely different plane of existence. Do you understand what this means? I think I do. Good. Start looking. An entirely different plane of existence. wouldn't happen to be talking about the game's files, would you? Let's go look, shall we? Okay, so it seems I was kind of right to look in the game's files. It is in a file on my computer, the password, but it's not actually inside of the game's folder, which is where I was thinking it would be, because I've played other games that do that sort of a thing. There's uh, some sort of a file in the game's directory that has the information. But weirdly enough, it's not actually there. And the only reason I was able to find it is because I googled it, because I was thinking, okay, the information exists on another plane. Maybe they mean the internet! So, so I just googled it. And, uh, well, I basically just found it in a walkthrough. And I'm glad I did, because I don't think I would have found it otherwise. It's in a file, but it's not in the game's directory. It's in the, like, the My Documents folder on my computer. Now, I don't know about you, but... I never use the My Documents folder. Like, ever. Actually, it's not the My Documents, it's the Documents folder. I don't know if there's a difference. I never use it. The only reason I ever go into there is to look for INI files to tweak for certain games to, like, change the field of view or something. Never would have thought to look there. Really bizarre. I'm glad I looked it up online, because otherwise it would have driven me crazy. Anyway, so, here's the file. Dear... Something. Today is something. This is my final letter to you, and I'm afraid I might make it brief. I have left you my journal, written in a language that... Read it, and you'll know everything. I have also, in case the toxic fumes ever spread. Look for a large safe in the quarry to the... Stay safe. Do not look for me. Go to the safe is 034895. I have also something in case the toxic fumes ever spread. You have what? Hmm. Okay. So, zero three, 
four eight nine five. Whoa, it worked. How did you know that, Marshall? There's a gas mask in here. Also, some weird looking book. Oh, that's probably the journal. It's written in a language I've never seen before. Hmm. Can I read it? I guess not. What is that? Good question. It's an anomaly of some sort. The world's falling apart. The savior is not coming and I am... And I am? Oh, I am afraid of the darkness and the darkness will only get darker. And darkness and darker and darker. Taking my leave now, farewell. To all, I'm so sorry. Uh, bye. Okay, this is back to where I've already been before, right? This big building right here? Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here for me to mess with. I've already read these, I've already talked to you. Chess table, although I can't do anything with it. Any, anything more to say to you? What's inside of the spire? Don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. Yep. Okay, I think it's time to wear the gas mask. Might as well just put it on right now, I suppose. <laughs> you can actually see the gas mask on him. That's cool. Alright, this is where I picked up the robot part. over here. Ah, now I can go here. I should be fine here with this mask on. Sweet. This hole isn't hard to reach. Okay, so I think this is where I want to gather up the fumes inside of my bottle, I suppose. Let's see if I can fill up the bottle. That ought to do it. Okay. I might have everything I need, maybe. At least to make the mixture. I still need to find something to flatten my bar, though. Where would I do that? Also, where was that place that had the battery? Like, the really heavy battery? Well, no, if I got the gas mask from here, then I suppose the battery is probably just inside of the box, yeah. I want to go back to the place that had that battery, though, because I think I might be able to flatten my rod there. Uh, fast travel system. Where was it? I, I really don't remember where it was. Was it mining facility? Maybe? No, that's not it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go find it and I'll be right back. Wait, what? Perhaps I can flatten one of this... Uh, one end of this pole with this compactor. I thought this was... I thought this was a solar panel. What? It really worked. Mineral ref... Oh, wait, it's a bunch of little things together? Okay. <laughs> I wish they were a little bit more separated so that was clearer. It's like a modular thing. Where, depending on what tile you're standing on, allows you to access the different functions of it. Mineral refinery. Do I have anything to refine? Do I have any minerals? No. So that's the garbage compactor. That's a solar panel. That's a mineral refinery. Any other special functions of this thing that I need to know?
Nope. Thing probably has a bottle opener as well. Okay, so that's flattened, so now I need to go back. Uh, back to... Uh, I don't remember the names of these places. I think it's Outpost. Yes. This bar should open it. There's a broken portable battery inside. Oh, it's broken. It's still rather on the large side. Okay, so it obviously needs to be... Oh, the lens is shattered. That's what the lens is for. So that will allow it to take in light and then charge again. Okay, gotcha. So let's take the lens, then go back and use it on that. The lens pops right in. Sweet. Uh, working rechargeable battery currently empty. Okay, so now... Gotta go outside to fast travel. Let's go back to... Uh, dormitories. Can I not use it? Oh wait, it's a solar it's a solar pan oh right. Um I need to go back to the other place with the heavy battery, which is at the outpost. I think. Right here? It's too heavy to take. Well, I don't wanna take it. Can I like pry it off with the Oh, my crowbar's gone. Um. Oh, wait. Right, my light bulb is actually an item, so I can actually combine the light bulb. Yeah, it looks like it charged the battery com completely. That was fast. Okay, sweet. I forgot that was an actual item in my inventory. Cool. Right, that's that part, but I still need to make the mixture, and the recipe for that is right here. Okay. So, I need gas, which I have. Yeah, I have the gas. I have a viscous liquid, check. Place the gas in a sealed container, check. Without breaking the seal, inject emulsifier. Shake vigorously. Okay, I think I have everything I need for that, so let's just take the syringe. Inject it into the bottle. There we go. And if I shake this now, interesting. Okay, I think I got it. Let's go to the docks. Alright, let's get you up and working. A bottle of acid? Uh, hello? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, good. Can you just, yeah, we already had this conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking we should use the thing on it. But you don't want to? Maybe we need to use the battery first. There we go, the battery seems to fit the hole perfectly. I am functional. You. Thank you. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot. <laughs> robot. Number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Let me guess, you're stuck. Uh, are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. I need something I can use to scrub the acid on the robot. Oh. Easy enough. Burn my hands off if I don't use protection. Remember, kids, always use protection. But wait a minute. Aren't I wearing gloves? Or are gloves not good enough? <laughs> wait. Nico took off the gloves? Why? Weirdo. Oh, wait. Whoops. Used on the sponge. Okay. Hold still. 
as if I had a choice. I feel better already. I can move. I am able to follow my programming again. Where would you like to go? I'm headed towards the spire. Closest destination to the spire is the Glen. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. Oh no. What can I do? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Alright. Uh, head engineer is, I suppose, at the mining facility? Is that you? Hello? Excuse, excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the spire, but it's a bit broken. It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Hmm. If you give it something from the Glen, it ought to remember how to get there. It'll be rare to find anything like that here. Nobody's entered or left for a long time now. Wait, I have this. A coin? Look closer. It's a clover. Inside amber. Inside the coin. Oh, it's very pretty. But I can't just give this away. <sighs> You're gonna make me do a quest, aren't you? What, do you want me to beat you at chess or something? It's special to me. I won't bother you with the details. I'll tell you what. I haven't, oh, I haven't played chess. I knew it. I haven't played chess with another person in years. Play a game with me and I'll let you have it. Oh, I don't even have to win? <laughs> okay. I don't know the rules very well. But I guess that's the least I can do. You're really good. I have a lot of free time. Chess keeps my mind busy. Why are you here all alone, anyway? Check. I'm here because I want to be. This place is my home. Ah. Have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's three. In the past, yes. I probably wouldn't recognize them now. They changed that much, huh? Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. I guess the sun's sudden death was just the tipping point. Things went south really fast after that. Check. What? When did your queen get there? So, what brought you here? This place was supposed to be a second chance for me. A second chance? Checkmate. Alright, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Oh, thank you. I learned, like, none of her backstory. I don't think she really wanted to talk about it anyway. Alright, let's take off this mask. Well, you know, maybe we should leave it on. <laughs> let's just leave it on for safety. Oh, this coin. I... I remember now. Setting course. And I missed the last thing. I am sorry. One last thing. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing most of this stuff anymore. That is acceptable. Onward. <laughs> That's a really cool picture. Here is your stop, the Glen. 
Thank you. There should be a village to the north. But that's all I can recall. Farewell. May your quest be a success. Uh, are you leaving? I need to go back for when my engineer needs me. Oh. Goodbye, robot. What in the hell are you? I'm catching fireflies for mommy. You know, I gotta say, that thing where the uh, robot said that the boat is over capacity and you need to dump some of your possessions. That's actually really clever. That's basically the game saying you don't need these things for puzzles anymore. And it's like an excuse to get rid of basically unnecessary things in your inventory to keep it less cluttered. It's actually really clever. Because the way adventure games handle that can be a little bit awkward. Like sometimes you pick up, uh, say, a shovel or something, and then you use the shovel. And the game knows that it's the only time you need to use the shovel, so as soon as you use it, it just like disappears out of existence. And it's kind of weird, you know, it's like, what the hell happened to the shovel? It's really awkward. So I think it's kind of clever to actually require you to dump the unnecessary items just for weight reasons. It's pretty cool. wonder if I can catch fireflies. Jars full of fireflies. The other place had jars full of, what were they, shrimp? I guess it just depends on the area. Hello. There was a time where our people used to live in structures like these. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding. The land has gotten brittle. Alright, so there's a bridge to the north, bridge to the south. Let's go north. I can't go inside of these buildings, can I? Nope. Oh, but these I can. Hello, strange creature. Daddy says the world is very sick, but the god can make it better again. Are you god? Uh, no. I'm just the messiah they send. I can talk to god, though. Wow! It's true, Nico can talk to god. And I am a god. Feels good to be a god. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. Huh? Squares, man. They're bad news. What? I thought triangles were the real menaces. Especially right triangles. And what are you doing? Trying to make yourself dizzy? You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the spire! Huh? Grandpa says the spire used to spin around all the time, bringing sunlight to the land. I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. Sounds like the spire's a lighthouse, spinning around to bring light to the land. It's not ready yet, but... Would you like some stew? Uh, I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer to the Savior. Oh, that person actually knows I'm the Savior. It's nice to be recognized. 
for the celebrity I am. Hello. Coals. It's soup. I like soup. <laughs> what? Storage room for big jars? Inside there's a small bottle labeled Miracle Water. There's really small writing underneath. Reserved for the savior. <laughs> That's me. I guess I'm supposed to take it. It's said to make plants grow very quickly. Huh. Okay. I can ring the bells. How cool. It's being slowly chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like that other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. See the sun one last time before before everything dies? What is the root of the problem? The crops have been growing poorly without the sun. There's no telling how long our surpluses would last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. I can fix that. I got miracle water, man. Check this out. Wait, did you not plant anything? I just assumed there were seeds in here. Maybe not. Shepherd. Hmm. If you weren't carrying around that light bulb around, if you weren't carrying that light bulb around, you could help me herd my rams. Uh, I'm not sure I have time for that. Nonsense. There's always nice rewards in store for herding rams. Come back when you're able. Am I ever going to be putting this down? And what is going on with you? Are you okay? Um, <laughs> what? Okay, demon, ram, bye. No, go back. What are you doing? Have any items for trade? Anything you'd like to be able to rid of? You'd like to be rid of, rather? Do I have anything I could trade? Uh, the precious coin? No. Light bulb? Hell no. Miracle water? Hell no. Nope. There are vines blocking the entrance. Make them grow. Will that allow me to get through? Or not. Hold on, can't I equip some boots? Was there like a key I could press to run faster or something? Oh, I think I, I dumped the boots. Yeah, I did. I guess that was one of the items that was too heavy to keep on the boat.
Okay, I think I visited every house here. I think it might be time to go south. Yeah, let's go south. Alula. Hmm? Alula, where did you go? Marshall, did you hear that? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast of here. Sounds like somebody's missing. Hey! You there! Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you, and... Wait, that's... That's the sun? Are you our savior? Uh, yeah? Uh, please pardon my rudeness. Uh, it's, it's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Uh, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. I just recently arrived here. Where was the last place you saw her? Pl placed. Where was the last place you saw her? Inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. The ruins. Would that be the place with the vines covering the entrance? Maybe I need to get inside and... Maybe she's trapped in there? I don't know, this seems to be the forest, though. So I'm thinking the ruins are probably inside of the forest. Somewhere? Hmm. Let's go east. Oh, is that a save? That's a save point, isn't it? Hello. Are you alive? You are. The sun. You're the messiah. On your way to the spire? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through the wall. You'll need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Uh, no. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's the reason I can't enter? Because I don't have a pen to sign the scroll? I'm the freaking messiah. Can I get VIP access? Jeez. Rude. door is blocked by vines. A tangle of vines, there's a doorway behind it. I think I just heard a voice? Never mind. I must have imagined it. No, it's gotta be Alula. Okay, so I have miracle growth water, which can make things grow, but I, I need something that does the opposite. I need something that kills plants. I need, like, an exclamation mark potion that I can combine with the plant growth potion to make it the opposite of. 
Hmm? Is that a computer? Whoa. What just happened? My desktop just like changed a little bit. Did I press something? What the fuck? Uh. I think the game just changed the background of my desktop. I didn't know games could do that, and I don't like the fact that it just did. You better put it back to what it was before, asshole. You're going to need a bit of assistance to help Nico leave again. I've changed a certain property of your machine. Yes, you did. I don't remember running you as administrator. I didn't realize you could change the desktop on a computer with an application that isn't running in administrator mode. It's a little bit disturbing. This will help you rescue the girl. Please, hurry up this nonsense. I'm tired of waiting. Interesting. Makes me very uncomfortable. Is I gonna change it back when I quit the game? Mutter, mutter, mutter. You better. I guess the obvious question is what's on my desktop? Good question, I don't really know. Uh... It's per I, I would show it, but I have like a million things on my desktop and... I don't know, there could be something incredibly personal there, so I don't want to show it. I don't know. Uh, it's mostly purple and there's like a pattern in the center. It's probably gonna be like a password thing that I need to enter. Uh... I'm not sure. We'll see, at the moment I can't do anything with it. Okay, it just came from here. Can't go there, so let's go down to the left. I found her. Savior. I can't believe it. You're real. Miss, are you alright? We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. It's too late for me. I haven't felt the rays of the, fun of the sun for such a long time. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I guess so. Will it make you better? No. It will not save me. But I want to feel its shine again before I go. Would it... Would it be too selfish to ask? It's the least I can do. It's so comforting and warm. I haven't felt like this in so long. I'll loosen the vines for you. I'm not afraid anymore. So... What, did the vines attack her or something? Or she just got lost and starved nearly to death? What happened? I'm not afraid anymore. I guess I can go herd rams. Now that I don't have the sun in my hands. But wait a minute, didn't it say the... It changed a property of my machine, the desktop. It changed that so I can save the girl, right? But she just said she can't be saved.
I don't know, it's a pattern of squares, so maybe I can save her? If I do something? I don't know. I have, n I have nothing to apply the pattern to. So... Oh, wait. The vines are gone. Where's this? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's where the vines were before. Hold on. Was there another... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was another door that was blocked by vines, although that probably just leads to another area that I've already been. Maybe? Yeah, wasn't it here? Yeah. So that was blocked before. Hmm. Okay. What in the world is this thing in the doorway? Reminds me of what I saw a while ago, at the cliffs. For some reason I'm afraid to touch it. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me... How do I... Okay, there we go. I'm looking at the pattern. Um, one, two... It's a grid. I wish I could show you, but I... I'm sorry, it's really hard to capture this because it's dealing with... Capturing things outside of the actual game itself, and I don't really know how to capture that quickly or efficiently. And I got windows up everywhere, and I don't know, it's a mess. But anyway, it's a grid. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five across, and this is here. One, two, three, four, five across, yes. And then in the background, once again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six up. So six vertical. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so that. I'm supposed to enter the what's lit up on the grid on my desktop background into this thing. There's a little bit of a problem, though. And the problem is that I can't jump. Anywhere I step, it's going to activate. But the image that I'm supposed to input into this thing can't be done in a single continuous line. So I think I need to flip switches on and off, and I need to do it in lines. Which is weird. Um. Ooh, I have an idea. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I was going to rig up a display for the image so that you can see it as well as I could see it. It didn't quite work out, though. I can see it, but you can't. But I'm just going to add in the image in post. It'll pop up right about now. So I'm just going to add that in. Yeah, that's the pattern that I need to recreate. That's the pattern that's on my desktop background. And as you can see, it's a little bit problematic because of the fact that I can only step on and step off. And as you can see, it's not a continuous line that I need to recreate. So I'm thinking something like this. Alright, there's the first part. The hard part's going to be the middle. Alright, so there's everything but the middle, right? Yeah. And... For the middle... What do I do? There we go. Okay, yeah. Just go back to the other side, put it back on, and... Bingo! You saved me! Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So, are you Alula? You knew? Well, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. My brother must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Of course. Let's go. Are you coming? Hey, where are you going? Uh, are, aren't you supposed to follow me? Oh. I had to absorb you inside of me. That's weird. Wait a moment. How did you know that I was the, uh, messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Hmm? They reminded me of the sun. Oh. 
That's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah, I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now, and you like us. You can make everything better. Sure. Gonna fix everything, all your problems. They're all gonna die. Okay, well I believe this is a save point, correct? Can't sleep now after Return of Lula first. Oh. Calamus! Lula, you're okay. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary, but then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry. I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt, see? Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff, exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them disappears. People say the world is decaying bit by bit. That's probably what it is. <laughs> decaying bit by bit. Literally, right? Like, the bits that make up the world are decaying? As in bits and bytes, ones and zeros? Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, thank you for rescuing my sister. Uh, I know it's not much, but I want you to have this. A gilded feather. A long and slender feather. Oh, I can use that to write. Although, uh, I will need some ink, though. Unless I just want to scratch my name into the paper. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course, but before I say yes, which I know will shut down the game, I just want to say, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Now let's take a nap.